Hey y'all, so today I'm going to show you guys how I animated The Weeknd's Beauty Behind the Madness cover with this ripped paper effect. So if you want to know how, keep watching. So we're starting off here in Adobe Photoshop. I will link the cover below where you can download it. So first what we need to do is make a duplicate of this original cover. So go to Layer, Duplicate, Layer, so we can um, always have the original handy. And so first we're gonna right click on our copy and hit rasterize layer. Then we need to go to um, the rectangular marquee tool and select the parental advisory sticker so we can remove it from the cover. So then we need to go to edit content aware fill and it will remove the parental advisory sticker. So now we're gonna, um, we need to make like a ripped paper effect for this bottom piece. So we need to just fill in that blank area. So we're gonna use the clone stamp tool and add some um, ripped paper, a ripped paper line. So we need to hold option on our keyboard and left click on your mouse. So then you can pick your sample and then click and keep clicking so you can fill it in. So it's kind of hard to explain, but hold option, select your sample and then click. So then next we're going to use the pen tool and we're going to cut out each piece. So the cover already has like outlines of, like it's already separated of the pieces, they're just put together so you can see the weekend. So just cut out each piece. So we're going to use the pen tool, make sure it's on path, and then draw around the piece until you connect the beginning points with the end point. So like I said, if it's hard to explain, just continue watching me and I'm going to have text instructions as well um, in this tutorial. So if me explaining it doesn't work for you, you can always just read the text. So you're going to go up at the top, make the selection, hit OK, and then go down to the bottom right of your layers panel and make a mask. So now we need to make a duplicate copy of this cutout piece. So you go to layer, duplicate layer, and then we're gonna hit the black square and delete the mask. And then we're gonna use this layer to use to make our next cutout piece. So the reason we're doing this instead of just using the original layer is because we cut out the parental advisory sign. So we're just gonna use um, these duplicated copies. So just repeat this process for each piece. Cut out with the pencil, select, make the mask, and at the end you should have 13 cutout pieces. So now we need to make the background layer. So we need to make a duplicate copy of any of our pieces, delete the mask, and then here I'm just gonna select all of our pieces and hit Command G to put them in a group so I can focus on the background layer. And then now we're going to select our background layer and just use the pencil and click and drag around all the pieces. So just gonna, we're just going to end up having only the edges left. And then go up top, make your selection, and then go to Edit, Content Aware, Fill. And then on the right is what it's going to look like. So then we're just going to repeat this process. I'm just going to use the lasso tool and grab that gray area and then go to edit content aware fill. And then that's what it looks like now. And then I'm just repeating this process using the lasso tool, going to edit content aware fill. And then boom, so that's what it's going to look like. So then now I'm just going to go, I'm going to add a curves adjustment layer just to make it darker, like how the original background is on the cover. And yeah, so this is what the background is going to end up looking like. So now I'm going to our original cover layer and just using the rectangular marquee tool to select the parental advisory sticker and make a mask. And so we're going to export 15 layers. So we're going to have our parental advisory sticker, our 13 pieces, and then our background layer. And so now we're going to go into Adobe After Effects. So now we're inside of Adobe After Effects. So I'm just going to bring in my background layer and then the piece that I want to appear last. So I name my pieces in the order that I want them to go to. So piece 13, his eyes, I'm going to have that appear last. So I just changed the layer color of the background layer so I know which is which. And then we're going to add a rough and edges and drop shadow effect to each piece. You can use my settings or customize your own. This will just give enhance the paper effect and make it look less 2D. So then the next effect we're going to add is CC page turn. This is how we're going to get the um, each piece to turn on and appear on the screen. So we're going to animate the fold position. So here I'm just dragging to see how I want it to fold. So I'm going to remove the light direction so you can just drag the angle until you can no longer see the light glare. 
but yeah and then um raise up the opacity because we wanted to have full opacity on the front and back so we're going to click the stopwatch under full position so the piece starts out well the piece ends up flat then you see that little dot i'm about to drag that's how i'm going to move the full position to where to the angle i want it so it's easier if you just drag that dot instead of just changing the numbers so once you do that you're going to select your keyframes right click and hit easy ease and then we're going to enable motion blur on our layer and then select one of the keyframes and go into our speed graph just to customize how fast and how slow we want it to animate in so i'm liking how that's looking i'm just going to make it go even faster you can always um change how fast how slow you want it to go for each piece so next we're going to add some jitter movement to the pieces we're going to use expressions and we're going to add them to both the position and rotation. So you can first hit pill on your keyboard to pull up the position options for your layer. Hold option on your keyboard and then press the stopwatch and then enter these expressions. So it's going to give it like a jittery type movement. So repeat this process for the rotation as well. And you can always go back in here and change the numbers. This is just you can use these numbers as a base and then customize to your liking. So hit R on your keyboard, hold option, and then um, click the stopwatch under rotation and then enter in those expressions. You want to enter wiggle and then we're going to enter in posterize time. So just follow what I'm doing. If it's confusing to you, just watch exactly what I'm doing and enter in these expression numbers. Repeat this process for each of your pieces. Um, add the roughen edges and drop shadow effects, then add the CC page turn effect and animate the full position, and then add your wiggle and posterize time expressions to both the position and the rotation of your piece layers. You can make each one different and customize it. So now I did that process for each of my pieces and then you'll see I had them come in one after another and you can adjust the speed to your liking. You can have it start off slow, then go fast or vice versa. So here's kind of a preview of what it looks like and I end up adjusting the time um, so it can go faster later on. So now I'm just bringing in the parental advisory sticker and then animating it with the rough and edges. I just animated the border so it like kind of comes on like it fades on really rough. I don't know how to describe it but yeah I just did that but you can animate the sticker in any way you want. So now I'm just going to select all my layers, right click and pre-compose them so I can have them in one big group. And then I'm going to um, see where the animation stops and then I'm going to command D to duplicate my layer, right click and then hit time reverse layer so my animation can come on, it stays on screen for a bit and then it um, comes right off. So here we're back in Photoshop. Um, I found this alternate cover online. I will also link it below. So we're gonna cut out the text piece so we can have the text also appear in our animation. So you can just use the lasso tool and draw around with some jagged edges because we're gonna also make this um, be a piece of paper as well. So just follow along with me, just draw around with the lasso tool so we can cut it out. So now it's a selection and then we're gonna make a mask. And then I'm just making sure that it's in the middle and then I'm going to export that and bring it into Adobe After Effects. So now we're just going to do that same process. Add rough and edges, add drop shadow, and then animate it in with the CC page turn. And so I ended up making a lot of duplicates so it was like four of them so they all pop up at different times. And yeah, but you can customize it to your liking. You don't have to do what I did. You can um, just get creative with it and add your own sauce to it. And so yeah, this is the final product. So I really love how this turned out. I have um, two other tutorials that show you guys other ways you can animate album covers and I have a bunch more coming. So subscribe to see my next video and follow me on TikTok and Instagram. That's at the RJ Media. See y'all in my next video.